Hey, Nature's Fort 7 here. Welcome back. Uh, we're actually going to be, before we start the pilgrimage, we're going to be doing a quick quest so I can level up easier by getting the house here in Anvil. And it's actually a quest. It's a, well, you'll see. <laughs> going to go get the house in Anvil. Is this, is this the pub? One of these pubs, and I want to say it's in the Imperial City, and it's in like the Talos district or whatever, but there's there's a there's an inn that has an invisible sheep that just walks around inside of the pub. Hello, good sir. Super weird. Yeah, but my personality is 92, so I'm good. They still like you less than they could. It's unbelievable. Oh, sorry, yes, uh, man. Yes, I'm selling my grand. Cool, yes, I would love that. Thank you. Yeah, so he he runs off to the... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. He runs off to the Imperial City, I believe. Or somewhere. Maybe it's in Coral. I forget where he goes. But he runs away. Because reasons. Just like Braves are all. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's he's super... Like, this is... This is a, <laughs> it's a big-ass house for just 5,000 gold. Which, you'll kind of see why here in a moment. It's actually a really nice place. I like it a lot. This, the skin grad house is a, is a little bit better, but it's also the most expensive one. Is, is the skin grad house? Wee! When danger reared its ugly head, he, he bravely turned his tail and ran, or just fled, maybe something like that. Undoubtedly. Oh, some sweet wine. I got... Check this out, Corey. Look what I got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got the skooma. Skooma. What's funny is, I don't think that you can sell the skooma to anyone. Because, like, no... It's illegal. It's an illegal substance. Can you sell to fences, maybe? Maybe so, yeah, maybe. Uh, where's the basement? There we go. That's what I needed to. Got to go down to the basement because the basement is where we get to see the crazy shit. Look at how far down this basement goes, man. How wild is that? Right here. Oh, shit. I need something for that, don't I? That's right. I gotta, gotta go talk to what's-his-face. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Whee! Is that right? What do I have to do now? I can now... Oh, right! I have to go to sleep. I am a drow. I'm Galax Tekkenray. Oh. I know who that is. <laughs> Me too. I was going to make Drizzt, but Drizzt would never actually join the Dark Brotherhood, and I love that quest line, so I figure... Oh, damn! Yeah. And I don't have a Daedric sword yet. And this is one of the few items I have that will actually hit ghosts. Has to be at least a silver weapon. Really? Wow, I killed him right when he, like, paralyzed me for a second. Ectoplasm! Wait. Can I, can I actually rest now? Can you let me level up, you crazy game? There we go. Nice. I'd rather boost my agility than my personality at this point, so that'll work. 
All right. Very, very good. Now I'm all like, dude, dude, what the fuck, man? Wait, what was that? Scrap from... I found a skeletal hand next to a page from a diary. Secret room in the house that only a true-blooded... Beniris, ben 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 whatever. I'm going to need to talk to Velwyn about this. Bloody, bloody, blah, words, words, things. We're going to go in here and okay so I need to go I guess I could talk to a guard doesn't really matter I kinda wish I had a dash some kind of run like they have in Skyrim I miss that a lot they call me Wilhelm hi I'm not sure where he went but I would ask really fine Fine, guy. Uh, the Count's Arms. Do, 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 do. Well, do. hi. More veins, apprentice. You're okay. Right. Where the frick's the Count's? It's, it's, it's all the way over here, isn't it? I am a pro acrobatics person. Yes, thank you. It's 100. I can jump on water. Which is a strange. Maybe you can teach me something. Why would no? I can't. Well, actually, that would be awesome if I could, because then I could charge them out the ass like they do for me. As soon as you bought the place, he. I think I hope I'm ready. I hear tell he's making his way to the. Right, Imperial City. Which can I fast travel from here? Probably not. Uh, there he is. Nope. I gotta go outside first. Rats. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera back up for D&D purposes. The reason that I put playing Morrowind. Rats. You mean the fucking sky rat things are a lot worse than Morrowind. Cliff racers. Cliff racers, yes. Fuck cliff racers. Dude, oh my gosh. And at some point in uh, once I get discussions under dark down, we're gonna do some like some sequelitis type stuff, but with the Elder Scrolls games where we talk about each game and its strong points and its weaknesses. Because I'm sure Aaron's never played any of them to their extent. Oh god. More don't get me wrong, I Whenever Morrowind came out, I played the shit out of it, yeah, and it was too. awesome. But you now that there's context, now that we know, now that we've played other games, above it's like, it. whoa. Because it was above and beyond everything before it. Mm -hmm. Because the fact that you have to swing 20 times to hit the first rat one time because your blade skill so so shitty yes. is infuriating. Like he's clearly right there. Stab, 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 hit. Fuck! Have you ever played uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic? I have. I've heard of it. I haven't played it, though. No. It came out not too long before Oblivion and was a copy of Morrowind, essentially, but a little more magical awesomeness. I did like the levitation spells, but that would kind of break. Lots of things. Uh. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Velwyn. You tool bag. You sold me some, some junky junk. Manor. I suppose you're right. Is the manor used to belong to my grandfather, Lorgren Benneris? Uh huh. Benneris. That's how it's pronounced. I suppose I should have warned you, but I had to get out of Anvil. My family said I could move here to the Imperial City once all our loose ends were tied down. <laughs> really? It was one of those loose ends. I fear my own greed got the better of my judgment. I, I hope you weren't hurt badly in that horrible place. I suppose I assumed you'd be able to lift the curse and be done with it. Well, I can, but I need you. Lorgren Benneris was a strange old man, always dabbling and experimenting with magic. He was mostly uh -huh. harmless. 
until the fateful day he came across a tome bearing the he became necromancy the dark arts contained in the tome called for him to dig up the recently dis when it was discovered that he did this the major <sighs> led by a yeah. young upstart named Carahill, the major's guild stormed Benerus manor and slew because of this the people, the people of, of anvil must be cursed lift the curse According to the diary entry it seems that i'm the only one and i can't help feeling guilty selling you the place under these circumstances from there okay good i'll see you in anvil uh it sounds good to me so yeah we're going to go back to anvil got to head out and go over to Anvil, which is super exciting. Eventually, I'll actually go through the sewers. The sewers are kind of a... I've, I've, I've done some exploring of the sewers, and the, the Imperial City sewers are actually pretty pretty cool, pretty fun to, to, to kind of go through and, and deal with. Dock gate, that'll work. It's really close to the Count's Arms, I think. No, it's close to the house, Anvil House. The mana, <laughs> which, which I don't have enough money actually to buy any of the upgrades for the house. I just had enough. I just barely had enough to get the house. Over time, though, we'll be acquiring the multiple abodes. There's there's a house that's acquirable in each of the houses or cities, each of the towns. Is that uh, where's that? Is that right here? Yeah, it's right here. We're gonna go to the house and clear it out. Clear it out. I heard you know how to move in there he is. Come here, you. I'm ready as well, when? I was half expecting you not to show up. Are you ready to go to the manor? Yes, I'm ready. I've been ready. I fast traveled all the way here from 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 the Imperial City just just so we could do this. We've traveled great great distances across far-reaching lands, and all it took was a loading screen. Perilous peril. Let me go in and face the peril. No, it is too perilous. I bet you're gay. <laughs> Uh, the Holy Grail is such a great movie. Although I probably would have stabbed Lancelot right then and gone back in, in into the That's castle anthrax. Oh, I would have gone in to face the peril. Yes. If <laughs> you forgot something. Forgot something. Follow this dude. Who walks super That's slow. See you later. Yeah. Be safe. Yeah. I'm just gonna run around in circles for, with, with, with this dude and uh, have a good time. He's super damn slow, man. So <laughs> literally running circles around. Wee. If I just like go into the door, does he spawn in there? Or do I have to wait for him to actually walk around? I know in Skyrim sometimes you have to wait, which is kind of cool, but also weird. Nope, there he is automatically. Should have. What? I must proceed cautiously to the secret room's entrance and prevent any harm from befalling us if the curse is ever to be lifted from this place. Okay. okay. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep my hopes up on that one, brother. Just, just saying, we're gonna be fighting some shit. Let me make sure everything's repaired. Pretty sure that we're good. Yeah. What, the enemies are nearby? Show them, Elvis. Oh damn!
cool. Ectoplasm for me. Put it in a little jar. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. What time is it? Oh, far away? Fifteen minutes in. All right, yeah, there's not going to be enough time to finish this up because we got to... There's some pretty neat stuff that happens later on. So we're actually going to end it here. And in the next video, we'll continue. So, uh, Bone Batuna, see you then.